All right, it's your man Rajay111. I'm finally about to open up the Kyo shows. Uh, finally, um, we riding out the storm. I got my um, daughter on the camera, my grown newborn <laughs> on the camera. So she's gonna film and I'm gonna open them up. Y'all get to see what's in the box. The knife we using today is a special knife. It's an old timer, this is this thing. My dad gave this to me, your grandfather. He gave this to me years ago. Years, ye ye I mean, whew, you wasn't even thought about. But I mean, I was a kid when he gave me this, but it's very sentimental to me. So, um, I mean, it's dull, but I should sharpen it, but I mean, but it's very sentimental to me. All right, so let's start with the buggy. See how the box popping, all good. It's the TKI 2. Now, apparently, the 2 now comes in a smaller box. I don't know. I haven't seen the, the other original box, but whatever. All right. So, um, here, if y'all want to see the box, um, baby, you can zoom in there, show them the box. That's the one side. Side. Back. Boom. Front. Nothing's on the bottom. All right, boom. So let's open this up. We got two seals. Boom. Uh, first seal of it. All right. Cool. You can come in closer, boo boo. All right. Let's see here. All right, boom. There it is. There it is. All right. So what we working with? We working with manual. Okay. Manual sticker sheet. Always need that. All right, boom, this is how they come. Okay, so this is the filters, air filter, boom. Oh, look at that, they give you some wheels. Cool, they do give you some Kyosho official wheels. Nice, nice. Um, okay, this is a uh, rear shock towers and uh, bearings, stuff like that. Nice, nice. Uh, universals, popping. Okay, cool. Nice. Uh, side guards. Crazy. Shock package. Wow. But I'm going to do some changes to my shock package. But um, that's the originals right there. Nice. Nice. Cool. Uh, front. Front. Uh, stuff. Universals. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. All right, this is the battery tray. This is why I got to check out too, because I got a battery for it, different battery, but fuel tank, stuff like that, fuel tubing. Diffs, all in one. They, give, they do give you some grease. They don't give you no oils though, but they do give you a little bit of grease. Uh, diffs, nice. Arms, no, this is the rear. So the other one was much was the front. That's the rear, nice. All right, Kyosho. They always give you this nice wrench. This thing works great, too. Wheel wrench. What else are we working with? Brakes. Send dip stuff. Brakes. And, uh, yeah, send dip stuff there. Clutch. Uh, three shoe, right? Yeah, three shoe clutch. All aluminum. And motor mounts, too. Cool. All right, what's this? Uh, motor mount stuff, your Ackermans, and your steering. Um, um, I forget what that's called, but um, save, uh, servo saver, servo saver, sorry. Um, in there. Cool. Body. See, with the two, they ain't made it so aggressive. You know, on the one, TKI, the MP10, uh, one, they made the front really aggressive. This one, they smoothed it out. I like this body better. I like the MP9 body even better, but that's good. Cool. Wing. Nice. And last but not least, that chassis. You know this ain't gonna be taking a good picture now because it ain't gonna be like that long. Nice. Cool. All right. Put this stuff back in here. 
get to that bill because uh, right now we're going through a storm and uh, me and my baby girl are going to ride the storm out. So let's give us something to do while we up in here. Two. All right. So that's the buggy, people. All right. All right, cool. Finally get a chance to open these puppies up. All right, so that's the buggy. Truggy. MP10T. T? All right, this one come with like a suitcase type deal. See that? Nice. All right, got a little sleeve on the sides. So you just pop her out the sleeve. Uh, nice. All right, this one um, has some seals in it. Boom. Inspection seals, tape, boom. Grab our old timer. Oh, this thing a little tight. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna cut myself. Mm. All right, see that? Team Kyo Show. Yes, sir. All right, boom. All right, of course. Manuals, they always good. Little uh, receiver antenna, nice. And sticker sheet, cool. All right, same deal, people. Got your uh, pills for your blocks, your A, B, C, D blocks, wing mounts. Now that, look at, that thing got some girth to it, look at that. That's the, uh, I believe that's the rear shock tower. Nice Kyosho badging on there, nice. A little bit of girth. Shock package. They give you the purple springs. Sweet. Okay. Nice. And I noticed they shocks coming in five hole. I think they five hole 1.3s, I think. Um, don't quote me on that, but I do know they coming in five holes. But they do give you some if you want to go uh, eight holes there too. So they give you that. They give you some little different variations, which is nice, 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 nice. I don't know what they tell you to build it with yet, but we'll see. Side guards, wing, that metal. Nah, that's plastic. I thought the little capture things would be metal, but they plastic. Yeah, okay. Um, see, this is the front. Yep, front axles and stuff like that. Hub carriers. Oh, look at that. They metal. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I didn't know that. All right. Front axles, universals, uh, arms, stuff like that. Rear. Now, the rear carriers is plastic. Yeah, they're plastic. Just the rear axles, arms. Chassis brace, rear. Nice. Uh, radio tray, uh, gas tank, fuel tubing. These are for your servos to make sure you bring your servos off the chassis. Something like that. Nice. Air filter and servos, uh, horns, but you know, we don't use those plastic ones. Cool. Nice. Brakes, center dip stuff. Nice. Nice. Uh, what are we working with? Um, clutch, three shoe, same as the other one. Pretty sure this is, but the clutch bell is vented and 13 tooth. I'm pretty sure they come with um, 13 tooth vented clutch bell, but it is a three shoe. They give you three aluminum shoes. All right, cool. Body now these bodies I don't like on the truggy. See that aggressive front. Now I know everybody going to the bruggy thing, but I ain't messing with that. I'm good. But um, you know these bodies, eh, I wasn't a fan of these, so I'm gonna switch up. I'll probably get the lead fingers ones, but <sighs> that's what they give you. It is what it is. It's pretty decent. Oh, whatever. All right. So what else we working with? Uh, dips. Dip stuff. Rear axle tips. They give you grease, but no oil. And a little bit of grease. Cool. This is why I wanted to go buggy truggy because you, you know the parts are kind of similar. Uh, servo saver, 
stuff like that. Ackerman, things like that. Cool. Of course, that famous gear wrench. Kyosho Brandon. Good. And last but not least, chassis. That's good anodized. Boy. She won't be like this for too long, but we can enjoy her right now. Cool. Alright, cool. Alright, that's really a bit, people. Um let me show y'all something here. Let me just uh, back up and show you something real quick. Give y'all some part numbers of stuff I found out. Alright, one second. Alright, put that to the side. Alright, uh let's pour this out real quick. Alright, we already at. Um, okay, here we go. All right, you see this part number here? Um, yeah. All right, zoom in on that part number, Google. You got it? Oops. Okay. All right, you can zoom out. All right, this these are the rear axles for the truggy, but these are the RTRs. Apparently, if you build the kit with the uh, ones that come with that, they apparently are too long and what happens is you'll keep bending rear axles um i didn't notice like cj and and, and uh newbie rc newbie put me on to that and cj had me order these i have no idea why but now i know why so if you get the rtr ones for your truggy mp 10t the rtr ones are a little shorter and it gives it room in the cup in the axle cup to move so you won't be bending axles um, but that's the part number. I just found that out. I thought these were spares, but apparently it was the reason why CJ told me to order these. All right. So y'all got the part number for that. All right. Uh, also here's the part number. These are the 22 degree, um, hub carriers. That's the part number. See the IF W62 right there. That's what I'm going to build my kit with, um, buggy and truggy, truggy and buggy with a 22 degree. Um, I like how they felt. Um, I will keep the originals and, and try back and forth, but I want to try these first out the bat. So that's the part number for the 22 degree, um, hub carriers. Okay. All right. Put it back on me, Bobo. So there you go. I'm going to start this build tonight while we get snowed on in. This is your man Rajay111. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.